Good morning, I'm Clinton Griffiths. Happening right now, cotton planting is running ahead of schedule in some key growing areas. USDA is reporting that 24% of the crop is now in the ground nationwide, and it says cotton is 24% planted in Texas, 3% ahead of the five-year average, and it's running way ahead of schedule in Mississippi and Virginia. Ag Day's Michelle Rook joins me. Michelle, while planting is good news for producers, cotton prices have seen some steep declines. Yeah, Clinton, they sure have. Cotton did have a nice rally to start 2024, but both old and new crop contracts in Chicago have plummeted just in the last two months. Now, this is despite tight U.S. acreage and some lingering production issues here in the U.S. However, the hope is that as farmers start planting this crop, prices have found a low. Cotton posted a strong rally the first two months of the year trying to secure acres, and old crop prices moved well over a dollar. But since the highs February 28th, the July contract has dropped nearly 28 cents to last week's lows, with new crop December down roughly 15 cents. Market analysts say it's a result of demand, but the stronger dollar and weaker global economies, especially China. Especially over in Asia, is really struggling. Europe's starting to struggle a little bit. The consumer is, you know, battening down the hatches. And I think, you know, you're seeing merchandisers just have a difficult time moving product right now. China, they've been very weak the last couple of years, really the last two, three years, and they, they put a lot of money in their economy. In the U.S., demand for apparel is also down as Payne says consumers are pulling back with inflation and higher interest rates. Merchandisers are going to take it in the shorts here. Uh, you see Nike earnings. You've seen a lot of these these big, you know, multi-conglomerate companies that market clothing are, are struggling and they're struggling to move supply. Prices are too high, I think, for a lot of folks right now, and they can they can shop elsewhere. However, he thinks the market is trying to bottom as prices have gotten too cheap and U.S. production is uncertain with historically low cotton acreage and some lingering pockets of drought. In my opinion, here we've probably gone a little too far just based off what the farmer dynamics will be. I mean, it makes no sense for, for me to recommend any sales at these prices because, uh, you know, we're at crop insurance price levels where that's basically insured. He says the recovery in cotton prices may be slow, though, until the Fed starts to lower interest rates and global economies and currencies start to stabilize. I'm Michelle Rook reporting for Ag Day.